As some of you may already know, last week was my birthday and I purchased myself the Chanel Jumbo Classic Flap. Now if you're interested in seeing the unboxing of that bag and a story about how I came to purchase it, I will leave a link down below to my work week vlog where I talked all about it. But today I wanted to do a what's in my bag because many of you guys have been requesting it and to be honest, I love what's in my bag videos and it's been about a year since I've done one. So I think now is the perfect time to update you with what I'm carrying in my bag. Now I also wanna do a second part of this video and I wanna put it all together in one if it doesn't get too long. And I wanna show you guys the size comparison between the jumbo, which is this larger one, and the medium large because I do own both sizes. And when I purchased the medium large last year for my birthday as well, I really had a tough time deciding between the two sizes. Now I have to say, now that time has passed and I have both of them, I'm not mad at all that I had to upgrade to the jumbo for size. But if you're someone who obviously, you know, is looking to buy one of these bags or invest in them, and you know, they're not cheap bags by any means, I think that maybe this video can help you get a sense of which one is going to work best for you, or at least for your initial purchase. So let's get started. Hello my charmed ones and welcome back to my channel for another video. If this is your first time with me, I would just like to say welcome. My name is Alexis, but I'm also known as Miss Trenchcoat all across the internet. I'm an online entrepreneur who designs and sells digital productivity tools to help you work smarter, not harder. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'll leave some links below in the description box where you can check out more of my work online and feel free to download some of my latest free productivity tools over at thecharmshop.com. So if you are someone who is new to my channel, I just wanna take a moment to say that I do not normally do luxury or lifestyle hauls or anything like this. I'm doing this because I love what's in my bag videos and it was requested and I do think that this information is helpful. I know I have a lot of women in my community who are interested in purchasing one of these bags. I've talked to many of them. So I'm just hoping that creating this video will be a little bit extra value to my community. But if you are new around here, I highly suggest that you take a look around and see my other videos because there may be something you're interested in, but I'm not someone who does luxury full time. This is just something that I'm doing for fun to celebrate my birthday. So just understand that this is not something you're gonna see fashion videos like week after week. But if you are interested in my productivity or my business related content, I would love to have you subscribe. So feel free to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Now let's go ahead and dive into the jumbo. So I'm sure if you found this video, you're already familiar in one way or another with this bag. Just a brief overview. This is the jumbo size. It is in caviar leather with silver hardware. That is my favorite combo. I realize it also comes in gold hardware and also comes in lambskin variety, but I have no problems with the caviar. This bag can literally go into a rainstorm and I know it's gonna be okay. I've taken that bag many times in inclement weather. It holds up beautifully. It does not have a scratch on it and the age of that bag is tremendous because I bought it pre-loved. This one I bought brand new. So this one has mm, that new bag smell, although that one still smells brand new too. The leather smells delicious, of course. But this is a brand new jumbo size flap. It does have the pocket in the back right here, double chain strap that can also be single strapped. One point of difference between the jumbo and the medium is that this bag can be worn crossbody um, very comfortably where that one, I can do it because I'm 5'1", so I'm, I'm petite, like I'm shorter, um, but that's not something that most people are gonna be able to get away with crossbodying, but this one absolutely you can. This is a double flap, as I probably already mentioned, which is the only style that Chanel actually makes right now as in 2017. There are so many videos about the single flap jumbos out there, and I went back and forth on whether or not I wanted a single flap or double flap, but ultimately I decided that I loved the way the double flaps were over time. Even though it meant I was gonna lose a little bit of space, I'm generally someone who could fit all their stuff into a smaller bag anyway. So it wasn't a big priority for me to get the used bag that had the single flap. Now when you open the first flap, 
you do have this zipper pocket here, which I don't have anything in because it's just like this here and really doesn't, doesn't really fit much. But it's nice to know that it's there if you needed to hide something like a piece of paper. <laughs> um, there is another compartment back here, which I do use. And inside of here, I have a little wet wipe from my sushi place. A receipt or I guess I should say like a pickup repair a repair receipt for um, a pair of shoes that I had to get fixed and then also in this pocket is where my phone usually goes so I will keep my phone in either this slip pocket back here or back here and this is an iPhone 6 plus and it does have like a hard snap case on it and it fits wonderfully in this back pocket without stretching it out, in my opinion. Different people have different opinions about that, but I think it fits beautifully back there. That's usually where my phone goes. If I need to keep it away because I don't wanna see it, I hide it down there. So it's got easy access um, in the first flap. Now, second flap shows the burgundy interior, and here's a brief overview of what's inside. And I'm just going to start pulling things out so this video doesn't get too long. In one of the pockets, I've got this Chanel compact mirror. In the other, I have this credit card sized, um, like backup battery phone bank that's like marble printed, love this thing. It is like the size of a credit card, but it's like the width of maybe like four or five of them maybe, but it fits nicely in different spaces. Also, I have my headphones in their turquoise wrap that I got at Target. These were not in the dollar bin, but they were with the tech stuff that's like usually kept near the dollar bins. So if anyone's looking for that, go search Target. And then in the center little lipstick compartment, I guess I'll show you guys and up close if I can get in there. You guys can see in the center, I've got a pen. Now, a lot of people say that you can't really fit a lipstick in that compartment in the center. I think you can, like I've done it before, but I don't need to because I keep my makeup in other places. So I just keep this little beautiful Swarovski pen that's kind of like a mini, it's not a teeny pen, but it's smaller than a full size and it's got like a stylus end. That's what I keep in there. Also right on top, I have my sunglasses that are, um, these are pretty new, I got them this year. They are from Givenchy, right? If you say that, if I'm saying that right, Givenchy, I don't know, however you say that. These are prescription. So I was so happy that I finally found a place online that did designer prescription sunglasses. Love these. And these were actually revealed on my Instagram account. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram at Miss Trenchcoat, pull out your phone and search for me and follow me because I will snap on there, or that's what I call it, snap. I use my IG story to um, share a lot of behind the scenes of lifestyle and things like that and like the behind the scenes of my business. So if you wanna see what I'm up to, that's how you find out. Now, next big thing down in here is my wallet. This is a like classic flap, I guess, style wallet. It is something I got last year for my birthday. It is considered a short wallet. That is what they call it. And it's like an accordion style. It's not like a continental. This is black caviar leather um, and silver and black hardware, I guess you'd say. You can see those CCs are not fully silver and they're not fully black. I actually loved this design because it kind of looked like it was striped. Okay, so inside accordion style wallet, it's got three card holders a section in the back that's huge where I keep extra cards, zip pocket for change, and then in the front I keep receipts and money. There's also a front pocket thing here. There's more receipts in there. And the half moon style pocket on the back, which generally I don't keep anything in there, I don't think. Maybe I'll tuck something away every once in a while. Next thing is this YSL card case. This is from their monogram collection, I think is what it's called, and it's their chevron style, their caviar pebble, pebbled leather, whatever they call it in, um, in YSL, and it's got the black hardware. I absolutely love this little card case. I use it as a wallet sometimes in that one, 
But for now, what I've got in there is just extra cards. Usually, like if I get someone's business card or something like that, or extra points cards, I just throw them in here because I try not to overstuff my wallet. Next, I've got a thing of icebreakers, cool blast, chews. I love these. Next is the lipstick that I'm wearing right now, and I get a lot of questions about this. This is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Matte Liquid Lipstick in Slay. Okay, it's like the most beautiful nude color ever. It's like my favorite nude color ever, and it's a really great long-lasting formula. I'll keep it linked down below. Next in this bag is this teeny little pouch. Look how pretty it is. This is from H&M. I just recently got this in the beginning of 2017. I like this sort of like pillowy pyramid style look with like almost like a pink, like Aurora Borealis sort of unicorn look to it. But I use this pouch for like makeup things and anything that I'm afraid could like spill in my bag. So all I've gotten here real quick is a concealer from NYX, a, a breath spray, a Chanel Coco Rouge Balm. So this is just the plain lip balm. This little mini sample of a Givenchy Noir Couture Mascara that I think I got like in an order from Nordstrom or something like that, but it's this cute little baby mascara because I don't know about you, but if I'm not wearing mascara, I feel naked. Like that's the piece of makeup that I always need to have. So I need to keep it in my bag. And then I also have this little itty bitty sample size of the Tardis lip paint in, I think this is called Birthday Suit. And this is the free gift for your birthday that you get at Sephora right now. It's like paired with like a Tarte blush as well. So if it's your birthday and you're a Sephora VIB member, make sure to go pick this up because this is a really cute little kit. So that is everything that goes inside of this little pouch. Next is gonna be another familiar one for anyone who has seen one of my what's in my bag videos before. This is my Mystifying Mints Ouija board um, case, tin case thing. And what I have in here is not mints. It is always my little on the go sort of like walking pharmacy, I guess is what people call these. It's got a pouch with some headache medicine and things like that in it. A sample size of my favorite perfume, which is the Mason Francis Kirkjohn Baccarat Rouge 540. I have a full size of this that I wear, but I keep the sample in here just in case. And then I've got one of these cute little purse hooks because obviously I don't want my bag to be sat on the floor. Okay, and then the last thing that I've got in my bag is this little key pouch that is connected to a little fur ball. So this key pouch, if you guys remember my last what's in my bag, I had like a multi key pouch that was turquoise. Now, since then I have moved and I've bought a car. So I keep my keys in this little guy because it's significantly, like I've significantly reduced the amount of keys that I have now that we own a home and we don't rent one and have like keys for like everything. Um, I, everything can just fit in here for me. And my car is also one of those types of cars where, um, I don't know what it's called. It's a push to start, I guess is what you call it where as long as I have the fob near me, like with me in the car, it will unlock and I can start the car by pressing the little start button and it's all automatic. So I never really need to go inside of this key pouch um, other than to like unlock my front door. And even that is actually probably gonna go extinct soon, soon because we're upgrading our front door and getting like this smart lock system where it like pairs with our phone and when we just get near the front door, it's gonna unlock for us. And then we also have like a keypad. It's kind of crazy, it's the future. So soon I'm never gonna need a key at all. I just walk into places and they know I'm there. <laughs> so that is why I use this smaller pouch. And I keep it connected to this fur ball because I wanna make sure that I never forget my key. Like this helps me to like know that I've got my key with me. Cause if you're someone who also has one of those push to start key like cars, your SOL if you left your key somewhere, you know what I mean? So this is kind of like my indication that I've got my key with me. So that's everything in the main compartment. Of course, the bag also has this front slip pocket that just doesn't have anything in it right now, but sometimes I'll have receipts or mail in there. So this is what the bag looks like empty. Um, I will say that weight wise, I don't have a problem with how heavy this bag is, even when it has a lot of stuff in it. 
I do think this is a pretty lightweight bag, or at least the way that it sits on your shoulders. For me, I don't have a problem with the weight. Like it feels evenly distributed. So now that I've shown you what's in my bag and what I keep in this bag, what I wanna do is take some of the items that were in the jumbo and rearrange them into the medium large to give you guys an idea of what fits between the two and like the size difference. Keep in, in mind that when I opened this bag up, I did have a significant amount of space up top that still wasn't being utilized, but a majority of the items that I keep in here will transfer into this bag. But I am also gonna show you some additional wallets that I do use when I'm in a smaller bag because this wallet that I've got here is really just too big for that bag. Like it really overwhelms it. So I'm gonna show you some other options and how things fit if I use a more common compact wallet. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and switched over most of the items from my jumbo into my medium large. And as you can see, most things actually fit in here with a few allowances. So I've got my phone. I've got, you know, the little thin things sitting in the back slip pocket. I can close the second flap. And then here's an overview of everything inside. So things get a little bit shuffled, but I'll show you first the things that did not fit inside. Number one, I swapped out from the larger wallet to a smaller wallet, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. I also took out the cool blasts and I took out the lipstick. Now, I still have that whole little lipstick kit in there, that whole little makeup kit, that if I took things out of it, I would be able to fit more things in. So it's all about like making allowances. But the sunglasses, you know, the charger, you know, my key, my pill case, my key, everything fits in there, everything else, even the two wallets, the little card case and the smaller wallet. So really, the difference between these two bags is, you know, is pretty significant, right? Everything is a really tight fit in here, but I can make it work. Whereas this bag fit everything beautifully with a larger wallet and I had additional space. Like I could put something like larger, like an umbrella or something on top because there's just that much space in the bag. Now, the wallet that I had inside of the medium large for this demonstration is this little mini guy. And this is actually almost looks like a little tiny version of the larger caviar one that I had in the jumbo. This is actually lambskin silver hardware. If I flip it in the back, you can see it's got the little, you know, moon pocket or whatever they call it back there. And it's a pretty similar layout inside. It has one compartment, two compartments, accordion style, and in the front here, there is another place for a card. And of course, cards can also fit in the back. Here's a little side-by-side -side of the full-size short wallet and then the little mini guy who's like a little card case. And then the other wallet that I'll use with my medium large is this boy style card case. As you can see, this one is another small wallet that is really just meant for cards. It is black calf skin leather with the ruthenium hardware. And this has just one big pocket instead of the two that the other one has. And it's got the little front spot as well. So here's the difference between that short little mini card case wallet and the boy wallet. The boy wallet's a little bit shorter. And then width wise, obviously, it's a little bit thinner as well because the other one has two big compartments where the little boy one has one. And just for comparison's sake, here are those together, the bigger one with the boy one. And last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and either insert some clips or some pictures of the size difference between the medium large and the jumbo, as well as some pictures of me wearing the jumbo versus the medium large. So you can kind of get a sense of what it looks like visually between the two sizes. Keep in mind, I am five foot one, I am very short, and I'm, I guess you'd say, like on the curvy side, right? So that's going to make a difference for the way that the bag looks. But generally speaking, when I watch other videos on the jumbo flaps or the medium large flaps, I find that the person's height is really what makes the biggest difference for the way that it actually looks. 
So keep that in mind. I always think that someone who is taller, the medium large looks teeny tiny. And if you are shorter, the jumbo tends to look larger. I think that your body shape does have something to do with it, but height has a lot to do with the way it looks on you. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this what's in my bag and comparison between the jumbo Chanel flap and the medium large. I am by no means an expert in Chanel bags or even these handbags. I'm just someone who loves and appreciates them. So I hope that some of this insight is helpful to any of you who might be considering one or both of these bags. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those down in the comments and I will see if I can be helpful to you. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos by me. And until next time, bye bye